because this is important for you guys. So what I have here, ladies and gentlemen, is I have a complex number, right? Is it in the form of A plus BI? No. Yeah. Yes. And is this in the form of A plus BI? Yeah. Yes. So I have a complex number times a complex number. It's important for you guys to understand that the multiplication of complex numbers is just the same operations as multiplication of real numbers. You're going to follow the exact same steps. So I, you, there's a lot of different ways to multiply, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to do the box method if you guys learned that. Yeah. All right. It's a very helpful way just to kind of stay organized with your multiplication. So what you do is you can create a box. And then for how many terms you have, that's how many boxes you're going to make on one side. So since I have two terms, I split up into halves. So I have 3 minus 4i. And then this one I have two terms. So I break that up into halves and I have 2 plus i. Then to find the multiplication or the product, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the length times width for each box. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times i is 3i. When you multiply a real number times a complex number, we're going to kind of treat our complex number just like it was a variable. All right? So x, or you could treat your i just like an x, because 3 times x is 3x. 3 times i is still going to be 3i. 2 times negative 8, negative 4i is negative 8i. And then negative 4i times i is a negative four i squared. Now, same thing, when we talk about um, operations with uh, complex numbers, we can combine them when they have like terms. So these are just, think of this as just like your variables. Um, we can combine these because uh, they both have an i. So it's just like combining variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of circle these and say these are like terms. So now my answer is 6 uh, minus 5i minus 4i squared. However, ladies and gentlemen, do you remember when I wrote down what i squared represents? Negative 1. So therefore, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So I have 6 minus 5i plus 4. Well, now I can combine the 4 with the 6. So my final answer is 10 minus 5i. Make sure that when you guys do this, make sure when you guys do this that you guys put your answer back in complex numbers. You do know you're missing the instruction though, right? More instruction? Okay. So now make sure when you guys do this that you have it in complex form. All right? Do you guys see how my answer is back in complex form? Okay. So I'm just going to do.